His predecessor, Manmohan Singh, pushed through a law regulating 45,000 foreign-funded groups. He accused American NGOs of being the black hands behind anti-nuclear protests. Uh, The black hand is a metaphor for uh, an organization for evil purposes. Originally, it comes from actual real organizations from roughly 100 years ago. There was one in Italy where they would extort people for money. And then there was uh, numerous organizations like this throughout uh, Eastern Europe, mostly, where they were trying to start these uh, various revolutionary movements and uh, actually helped start World War I. So they were, they were successful. So in context, if someone talks about uh, the black hand behind something, they're referring to some evil influence that is presumed to be a group acting in concert uh, somewhat secretly, a hidden force. A lot of people seem to feel that the Ku Klux Klan is still a black hand in U.S. politics. But from what most people can tell, they've been largely out of existence for the last 40 or even 50 years. In a more modern context, some people consider the uh, neocons to be a black hand type organization because they were trying to promote the U.S. to go to war with uh, Iraq. And uh, some of them even claim credit for, for starting the war. In Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina's officials harass not only human rights groups, but also the Grameen Foundation, which channels its energies squarely into development. Squarely means directly, without deviating to one side. So if you talk to someone squarely, it means you talk to them directly. Uh, You can also be square with people. You can have a square deal. Square is associated with uh, being straight and being honest. If someone looks at you squarely in the eye, it means they look at you right in the eye, directly in the eye. If someone hits you squarely, it means they got a solid hit. It, the, the hit didn't glance off of your shoulder or something. It got you straight. So metaphorically, squarely means directly, without compromise. For example, a lot of people seem to think that uh, the neocons deserve the blame for uh, starting the uh, Iraq war. But more generally, people think the blame belongs squarely on George Bush. Nobody forced him to take the bad advice that he took. I was in this bar the other day, and then I got into an argument with this guy, and he hit me squarely in the nose. And I stopped arguing, and I just left the bar right away. That's all for today. Tom Taylor is an ESL tutor. He teaches English in the United States and outside all over the world using Skype. He can be reached at his website, which is esl-fullsteamahead.com. Click on this link and check out his website and email with questions. Thank you, Tom, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.